Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week I'll be talking about the Color Over Lifetime tab in Unity, and showing you how to mess with alphas and different colors for particles. So, um, for this week's video I have the very similar to, uh, system as we usually start out with, um, basically just a sphere emitter. Um, the only thing that I've changed really is um, instead of having it constantly emitting, I'm having it emit in bursts, and everything else is basically the same. I changed the start speed a little bit and the size to be a little bit larger so we can see the colors a little bit more clearly. So I guess without further ado, let's begin. Um, so color over lifetime is pretty handy, um, not only to just kind of give colors um, to your particles if you don't have them already in the textures, but also to have them um, kind of fade in and fade out. And you can use this um, by going into the gradient editor for color over lifetime. Um, these top little nodes are for the alpha values of the particle, and that basically determines how transparent the particle is. So if you want your particle to fade in and fade out, you want to use these alpha values, and I'll kind of show you how to do that right now. So right now we have two, one at the beginning and one at the end. We can slide these around by just clicking and dragging, um, and that'll just change the location of um, in what percentage of the particle's lifetime will this activate. So right now it's at the beginning of the particle's lifetime, it will have this transparency, and at the end of the particle's lifetime it will have this transparency. Right now they're fully opaque, so you can see the particle very clearly. Um, so let's change that a little bit. So let's change it, put this all the way to zero, and immediately you can kind of already tell that the particles are kind of fading in and they're, gaining a, they're getting a little bit um, more opaque over time, and they start off very transparent. So let's mess around with it a little bit more. So if we change this one all the way to zero, the particles won't show up at all because they're going to be completely transparent for the duration of their lifetime. So let's change it up a little bit, and you can add different um, nodes by left-clicking um, anywhere in this top bar here. And then you can also change the location by, um, instead of clicking and dragging, you can just type in a number there. So let's put that um, all the way up, and then what, what that'll have the particle do is it'll start off transparent, it'll kind of fade in, and then it'll fade out um, over the course of its lifetime. So now we can mess with some of the colors, and then the, the same rules apply for the colors down here as the, uh, for the alphas over here. You can click and drag to move these around, you can type in a number for the location, um, you can add more by left-clicking, um, you can also remove them by um, left-clicking and then holding them down and then just dragging them into the gradient itself. Um, yeah, nothing will happen if you right-click it, so it's a, it's a little weird, but you get used to it after you play with it for a little bit. So let's keep modifying the colors. Um, and as you can kind of see, the particles start out um, from red and they kind of go to a purplish-blue at the end of um, their lifetime. And then the, as you can see here, you can kind of tell what color, colors your particles are going to show through the gradient, because they'll kind of give you a preview of what it, look, what it looks like right here. So um, why you're seeing a little bit more purple is because that's when the particle is a lot more um, opaque. When it's very red or very blue, the particle is very transparent, so you don't really see that too much. Um, so yeah, that's something that you can do. You can also um, create uh, your own presets over here by just creating a gradient and then just clicking on the preset, and then that will save your current preset. And then you'll be able to load it um, when you create a new particle system instead of having to create it all over again. So it's pretty nifty. Um, what else can you do with Color Over Lifetime? You can do random between two gradients, and that basically means that the um, that the particle system will be choose randomly between these two gradients um, for each particle that spawns. So when a particle is spawned, it'll either um, it has basically like a 50/50 chance of either choosing this gradient for the entire duration of the particle, or for this, or it'll choose this gradient. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. Um, that's basically it for this video. Um, color over lifetime is pretty simple. The alpha values are very important, and they help make your particles look a lot um, kind of cleaner and kind of more natural because you can have them fade in and fade out of existence and you can also have them pop in at correct times and you can basically you can do a lot of stu cool stuff with alpha values and color um, but that's basically it for this week next week i'm going to go over color by speed and um, we'll see what kind of cool things we can do with that so thanks for watching